Hi guys and welcome to my Fable Anniversary Let's Play. I've been hinting at this for about a week or so now, and uh, it's nice to actually... Well, not nice, it's, I'm, I'm finally starting it. Um, now, I'm going to play this my way, right? Meaning that... Subtitles are on, tutorials are on, Guildmaster help is good, always good. Uh, let's see. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. Just making sure that all my options are decent. Now, I'm going to play this my way because it's a game that you you can play your way. Um, so, my choices may not be your choices, but it doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, let's, let's get right into it. We are, so far we are known as the Chicken Chaser. That is our title, but that will change over time and you'll see you can buy new... Oh, now then. Do we go for Chicken or Hero? Resurrection vials no longer in the game, but the enemies are far tougher and health potions more scarce. Uh, this is gonna sound really bad, but I'm gonna go for chicken. Not big. It's just I haven't played this game in a while, so, and I want you to see it, the sort of everything. This is a big game. Um, this is a very big game, and uh, we're gonna spend a lot of time. Exploring said game. Maybe I'll shut up now. Deep in the forest of Albion lay the small town of Oakvale, unchanged by time and untouched by the sword. Here lived a boy and his family, a boy dreaming of greatness, of one day being a hero. Sometimes he imagined himself as a noble knight, or a powerful wizard. And other times he dreamt he'd be an evil warrior. But in all his dreams of greatness, he could not possibly imagine the power of the destiny that lay before him. Come on, wake up! Daydreaming again, were you? Just like your mother, mind always wandering. Well, let it wander off to find your sister, will you? She's out playing by the Barrow Fields gate. Remember, you haven't given her a birthday present yet. Don't tell me you've forgotten to get her one. Well, I'm not bailing you out this time, son. Hmm. I tell you what, I'll give you a gold piece for each good deed you do around Oakvale. That should be enough to buy her a present. Now, get moving and stay out of trouble. Now then, unlike my previous Let's Plays, this game has an auto-save feature, which is nice. Uh, if you... I mean, I do like auto-saves and such, but, you know. Anyway, talk to people marked on your map with the green dot. They have something interesting to say, and will highlight green when you approach them. Press A to talk to a highlighted person. So, like, straight ahead of me right now, a highlighted person. Now, this game, to me, this game is a lot of fun. I've lost Rosie. I left her, and I can't remember where. Her stuffing needs changing today, and I can't find her. Please help. Don't worry, ma'am. She's a lovely little furry we'll bear. Help. With a blue patch on her back. So, she wants us to find her bear. You're always in a hurry, lad. Now. Um, what are you up to today? A lot of things. Hello, lad. I'm a trader. 
I wander the world, buying and selling wares, especially to find folk like your good self. Some little girl I saw said you have a sister, and it's her birthday. And it seems you haven't got her a present yet. It just so happens that I have a rather nice box of sweets here. Guaranteed to put a smile on any sister's face for only three gold pieces. Not Maybe yet. later, but hurry before I eat them myself. You greedy person. Remember, three gold coins, that's all they cost. Okay. Um, I'm going to play the good guy in this version. And I'm going to go Honestly. everywhere I can. Where's that good for... Honestly. Where's that good-for-nothing husband of mine? Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? <laughs> With some woman, I don't doubt. I run his house, bring up his children, and what do I get in return? Nothing. If you find him, let me know, won't you? Oh, yeah. Marital problems. Anyway, to Many find the guy, things. he's over here by the tavern. Behind the tavern. Oh, yeah, my little pumpkin. What? Uh, I, I was just, um, I, I've never even met this woman. Who is she? Look, Sonny, keep your mouth shut about this, right? My wife's at home with our little ones, and I'm supposed to be working. But a man should be entitled to do what he likes, don't you think? He's a prick. Tell you what, if you keep this little secret, I'll give you a gold piece. The decision is yours. Just don't tell my wife. I can't let her find out about this. Yeah, well, that's what we're gonna do. It's been years since I played this game. I played this game back when I was in high school. It was the biggest, like, one of the biggest games on the original Xbox. And it was, well, it was awesome. Where's that filthy layabout husband of mine? brings back so many memories. <laughs> With some I run his house. Right. If you find him, let me know, it. won't you? So, now we tell here. You have? Right. I'm gonna turn him into Balverine food. Balverine food. Thank you, young sir, for telling me. You're welcome. So that's earned us a uh, Wait a till I get my hands here. on that pig! That's earned us a good point uh, in our karma, and if we follow her now, we'll see the result of our good karma. Yo, filthy swine! I ought to chop them right off! You know I only have eyes for you, my sweet. Don't insult me anymore! My mother was right about you! Well, if you think I'm going to cook and clean for you while you're out having a good time with your strumpet, you've got another thing coming! <laughs> Who is she, anyway? Some tart from the village? <sighs> Younger than me, is she? We weren't doing anything, honest. Yo, filthy swine! <laughs> I have to shut the light off! I'm sorry, that conversation makes me laugh. Anyway, the girl's looking for a bear. And if we go down... Hang on, that doesn't make sense. Right, if we follow this path around... And go... Down here, there'll be another guy. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! Listen, lad, could you do me a favour? I've got to, you know, answer a call of nature. Oh, stay here and watch this stock for me. There's a good lad. Just stand between those two stacks and don't move! I'll put a good word in for you when I get back. Right, won't be long. The music in this game as well is amazing. My say. cousin says that the barrels in these warehouses might have stuff in them. Quick, while he's away, smash his barrels up and see what's inside. So. Unless you're too scared. Unless you're just a big blubbing girl. There's your other option. Come on. Let's go and break stuff. Are you just going to stand there like a lemon? Yes. Yes, I am. But being <laughs> good is so boring. Stand here like a lemon. Wouldn't you prefer to be smashing things? I love how British this game is. Come on, 
There's still time before he gets back. Yeah, but we're doing the oh, good thing. Oh, you're no fun at all. Fine. Have your stupid good deed then. I will. And I'll enjoy it. Excellent, thanks lad. You've done me a big favour. I'll let your dad know what a splendid watchman you made. The game is full of good deeds and bad deeds. Think, um... Hang on. If I push the down... Oh no. Uh... What if I push the... Hmm. Anyway, point being is that uh, like Mass Effect or Dragon Age, there's a lot of there's a moral system, and if you uh, if you do good deeds, you get good karma. If you do bad deeds, you get bad karma. And if you're in between, well, I don't know what happens. I don't think there is an in between with this one. I want more pocket money anyway, next week. Here's our next challenge. Get him off me! Please help! He goes around the town beating up anyone smaller than him. That's but he looks strong. I bet you could scare him off for good. So, here's your option. You either... Here's your option. You either side with the kid... What do you want? I'm just dealing with this brat. Or you side with the bully. Simple, really. He was irritating me, playing with my sister and her stupid teddy bear. Oh dear, how dare he have friends? No, he won't give it to me, just because I said I'd rip his stupid head off. Well... I told him, if he doesn't do what I say, I'm going to make his life a misery. Is that right? Well... If you clean my mum's car... What are you doing? Ow! Hey! <laughs> Violence is wrong. I'll leave him alone. Just please don't hit me again. Only in video games. <laughs> no. Thank you. You stopped him good. Thank you. You're welcome. Here, I'll let you look after Rosie. She'll be safe with you. Ah, nice. Let me rephrase that. Violence is a bad thing and should only be done in video games. So, we've performed enough good deeds that we can go back to our dad and get, um, receive our reward. However, I do believe, because we've got three, I think we can get a fourth. Oh, here's our fourth. <gasps> you found Rosie! Thank you so much! Come on, Rosie. Let's change your stuffing. Yeah. You can get a total of four good deeds at the moment. And then you go back to the father, and he'll give you pocket money for each good deed you've done. Use the pocket money, and buy the chocolates. Well, you, the bad deed is that you don't have to buy the chocolate. Well, no, you buy the chocolates, but you don't give them to her, is the bad deed, I think. Well done, lad. Here's your reward for those good Actually, deeds. I'm not entirely sure, because I think... Well, I think you may have enough there, son. Have you spoken to the trader? You now have enough money to buy your present, uh, buy a present for your sister. The uh, symbol on the map shows the location of the person, object, or place you should go to next. Your main objective will always be shown in this way. So it's a big flashing symbol. I think if you eat the chocolates, you'll get a bad deed. Um, I'm not entirely sure because I've never, sh never... Ooh, you're lucky I've still got these sweets. Am I now? Am I really? Quickly, give me three gold pieces now and they're yours. So. Young sir, they are yours. Wish your sister a happy birthday from me now, won't you? I will. Well, I don't know if I have to. Who can resist such sweet... Sweet meats. How's that? How is chocolate meat? 
Anyway, so now what we do is we go and we see our sister. And you'll notice how all the um, green How all the green uh, icons have now disappeared from... the map. So, go into there. Teresa is her name. So we'll talk to Teresa. Hello, little brother. I hope you haven't forgotten what day it is, like you did last year. I'm sorry if I woke you up last night. It was another of those dreams. I was standing in this field when something happened, but I can't remember what. Never mind that, though. I'm still waiting for my present. So yeah, you can choose whether or not to give the chocolate to your sister. I think to progress the story, you have to do this. I knew you were going to bring me chocolates. It's just like my dream. Come on, let's go home. Mother will be back for my party any minute now. I love a good party. So. Wait. There's something wrong. Bandits! <laughs> it's really happening. They're here. You've got to hide. Evil had come to Oakvale. Bandits wielding torches and steel, slaying and burning all in their path. Blood-red flames lit the night as the villagers screamed and begged for mercy, and soon their bodies filled the streets. Then the raiders reached the last house, where the boy and his family lived. It was them they had slaughtered so many to find. The father fought to protect his kin, but he was no warrior, and fell mortally wounded. The bandits ripped the house apart, but could not find the boy. Through torture and threats, his mother and sister remained silent, and their furious attackers took them both. From the nearby woods, the boy watched as all he knew was taken away. His whole life was crushed to ashes. He was alone. So, now we head towards the house, but there's only one way to go because all the other ways are uh, shut off because of the fires. Crime has come to Oakvale. That's not good. <laughs> we must leave. It's not safe here. They're all dead. You don't want to join them, do you? Then give me your hand. I thought you 
don't have a stronger stomach than that. Come on. <sighs> Save your energy, boy. It's not me you want to fight. You might not realize it, but I just saved your life. There's nothing left for you in Oakvale. And if you'd stayed, you'd be as dead as the rest of them. Come with me. My name is Maze, and I'm the head of the Guild of Heroes. You must have heard of it. You'll find nowhere safer in all of Albion, nor a better place to call your home. And if it's vengeance you want, you'll need the training only we can offer. Here we are. I'll introduce you to the Guildmaster. He'll be your guide from now on. I have a new student for you. Put him in the dorm upstairs, with the girl. You don't look much like hero material to me, but Maze knows what he's doing, I suppose. Well, follow me then. You'll be sharing this room with Whisper, one of our brightest young pupils. She's playing in the woods right now, but you'll meet her in the morning. For now, you should get some sleep. Your training starts tomorrow. <laughs> it's time to wake up. You must be my roommate. Hmm. Shorter than I expected. My name's Whisper. I've been here for a month. Had the room to myself till now, too. But that's all right. You know you talk in your sleep. Sounded like a bad nightmare. Happened to a lot the first week. Some don't even last that long. You won't either if you don't get moving. The Guildmaster is waiting for us in the map room. You don't want to be late on your first day. Follow me. Hmm. Looks like the Guildmaster got tired of waiting for you. He's probably at the training grounds across the river. Let's go! Alright guys, that's my time. Um, so, life has gone from pretty decent to kind of bad. In, in, in like... Uh, very, 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 very bad way. Um, but next time we will continue our journey and uh, we'll see where this goes. So, my name's Christoph, this has been part one of my Fable Anniversary Let's Play and until next time guys, stay cool.